What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about five ways to get a guy to chase you, right? Or five things that make a guy chase you. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I will love you forever, but not as much as the ladies I like who click the bell notification so you get my videos right away. Okay, now jumping right into this, I want to tell you that a lot of these have to do with scarcity. Scarcity is just a very, very, I'll, I'll say 60% of these, so three of them, have, uh, you know, have something to do with scarcity. It's just a very powerful concept that I think, a, not only is it powerful because of the law of scarcity, but a lot of women don't implement it. Okay, and I think if more women were to implement it, um, it would just add more value and power to your, or to the power dynamics, I guess, you know, give you more, uh, leverage. Okay. Uh, because a lot of the problems, unfortunately is women don't have leverage. So jumping in to number one is leverage or, uh, not giving in. The way a lot of women go about relationships, and I'm, I might get flack for this, but this is true from what I see, right? From helping thousands of women or clients, um, what I see is usually the following. It's a woman who says, oh, I'm not really looking for anything, uh, you know, what she is. And, you know, she says, well, I want to get to know the guy and then see where it goes. Women say that all the time, right? But when she says, see where it goes, she means a relationship. She wants a relationship overall. Again, not all women. I'm not saying this is because you're a woman. I'm just saying uh, when I when when I talk to a lot of ladies, they don't go on Tinder to fuck a bunch of guys. Are there some who do that? Yes, but there are women who go on there who want a relationship, right? And then they're finding a guy to fill that role, okay? And what usually happens is a guy comes in and she start and if they if they're getting along uh, and things are going well and they're seeing each other a lot and you know and he's going 150 uh, percent ultra speed uh, towards her booty plaque I mean she's she she goes along with it right it's like a straight path right from beginning straight path to relationship she's trying to get the guy here everything's going great everything's going great everything's going great I want in, to a relationship and what happens uh, I guess another way of looking at at that is you give in way too easily. If the guy shows interest, a lot of women just fall into it because they say, I don't want to play games and I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. Well, it doesn't really matter if you want to play games or not. You can ask any other dating coach. Dating is a game. Women in my comment section say, oh, I'm tired of all this systematic, mathematic, games. I'm tired of all this gameplay, this, that, whatever. I'm not it's a game. Sorry, it, it is. It is a game. And I mean that from an evolutionary perspective, a statistical perspective, a um, an attraction pr perspective. It is a game. It is a numbers game, too. If you don't want to play or you're not going, someone else will, okay? And I feel like a lot of women, and again, I want to get the, the thumbs down for this stuff, but I feel like a lot of women uh, give in way too easily to the guy because they like the guy and what they don't understand is you might not want to play games and you might want to ignore that kind of stuff but there's consequences to your actions meaning you know if he can get you easily and you don't even know if he's looking for a relationship or not if he can get you easily he's not going to invest his resources in you right why would he you, your your you, his investment has paid off he showed the interest you're hooked Okay, well, while that's going on, great. I still like you. You know, me talking to other girls doesn't mean I don't like you. But I want to go on Tinder and see my other options because that's just how the dating atmosphere is now. Okay, online dating has done that. You're going to have competition. You're going to, you know, the guy's not going to tie down the first girl he sees. He, he has options. They're all in a catalog, literally in the palm of his hand. And, um, and he, yeah, I mean, that's what happens. And, and I feel like that's why guys always get the better end of the deal because a lot of women throw themselves at a guy, don't show any scarcity, they, you know, and things like that. And they, you know, expect the guy to do the same, but that's just not the dating atmosphere nowadays. So number one would be don't give in so easily, be, you know, be a little scarce. Now, number two, which I think is a valuable concept, which I'm not going to touch on much here because I can probably make an hour video on it. It's filling a void. And what that means is every single person on this earth has, uh, uh, an exception 
or I mean, I guess in Western societies, has an obsession with completion, moving forward, progression, escalating, status, hierarchy, um, things like we, we just want to move up. We're always about comparing. We're always about making more, getting better, uh, doing better, you know, things like that. And if we can't do it, we're going to look for someone who can or fill that desire in us, right? So what that, you know, so what I'm trying to say is a lot of women, their value proposition with the guys is, oh, I have a great personality and I'm a good looking girl, you know, and things like that. But if everyone has that same value proposition, you're going to easily be replaced, right? Especially in a very superficial world where you're swiping left and right on Tinder and someone shows interest in you. And now you're like, hey, look, I have two options, which again, happens to a lot of guys. So I tell women, what makes, it's just like in the work area, what makes you irreplaceable? What do you have that other women do not have? Now, women will say, oh, I'm nice. I'm loyal. I'm a good cook. I'm, I have my own shit. To get. You should be all that stuff anyway. You know, like you should have your own car. You should pay your own bills. You should have your own place. You should, you know, you should, uh, you should, you know, you should have some type of education or knowledge at least, right? You know, uh, to, whether that's reading books or going to school, whatever. I don't care. I'm, I'm not saying you have to have an education. Just have education, right? Just have some knowledge. Um, these are all basic necessities, but what makes you stand out more than other women? You know, so for example, if I'm looking for a, you know, if I love to travel, well, hopefully I find a girl who likes to travel also and who likes to do this and who likes to do that and experience other cultures. Maybe she speaks other languages and uh, it's those things I find very sexy, right? Like for me, I love to read and write. Nothing is sexier if I could probably date a girl who loves to read and write you know, and is good at it and who I can actually have that deep conversation with because I probably could not have that deep conversation on great Gatsby and the poetic prose of Gatsby, for example, and what a uh, certain text means, um, you know, through a new criticism format, you know, all that. No, no, people don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I say that kind of stuff, unless you have a very strong, you know, understanding of literature and the criticisms of it and uh, when we can have that discussion right to me that's very valuable because that's something I like to talk about or if I'm you know I'm really into nutrition too uh you know I used to be a personal trainer or I'm a certified trainer and you know if I could talk to someone who was able to talk to me on a deep level not just hey I want to lose weight so I work out I love working out no no no. we talk about the cellular structure you know that nutrition has um, or that, sorry, the, 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 the way nutrition plays on, you know, uh, the, uh, cellular, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Structure of things. Very, again, very sexy, very, very sexy stuff. Okay. So find a way to fill a void. Number three is you have to build sex appeal. Okay. Uh, kind of counters what I just said in number two, but men are physical, sexual, and visual by nature. If you want to entice or, uh, begin the chase, look good, be quick witted, be fun, be a tease, be lighthearted and, you know, and don't chase, have him have, create some mystery. Okay. Um, curiosity kills the cat. A guy, if a guy doesn't know where he stands with you, he is going to chase you because we need that validation. Guys are very um, petty when it comes to that. Like our self-worth is based on what you think of us. And if we don't know, we want to find out and we will do what we have to do to find out, whether that's chasing you more, blowing up your phone, texting you and things like that, which is why I say back to number one, don't give in so easily because once he's showing that initiation to one or you know going from zero to one, uh, 150, Women go along with it. It's just your actions themselves that say, hey, she's interested. I got this, okay? Uh, number four is playing hot and cold. And I don't mean that in a game. And I know I said this is all about a game, but I don't mean that in a game format. I'm not saying be a bitch, uh, then be nice, be a bitch, be nice, pull on and off, on and off. What I'm saying is hot as in you're showing the guy you're interested you're, you're, you're creating, here's, this, this is the part I'm talking about. You have to create the desire, show him, Hey, I'm the fucking shit. And you guys have a good time and him think he has you. And then you be a little hesitant on things. You know, you take longer to text, uh, you, you make different types of plans. You switch the plans up on the guy. Um, you know, Hey, you know what? Instead of going there, why don't we just do this instead? I'm not really, you know, I'm, I'm, I stop, whatever. Right now, don't be a hassle, a pain in the ass. Cause that's just whatever. But I mean, you can't, 
you can't just be 100% submissive and whatever the guy says uh, is, is set in stone and you go along with it. Now, of course, there should be the masculine and feminine energy where I think the woman should let the guy take the lead. I'm a big believer in that. If you're a feminazi and you don't believe in that shit, okay, whatever. Um, I don't know. But I, I do believe that, you know, if a guy truly likes you, he should plan a date. He should court you. He should show it um, and things like that. Um, but a lot of women, again, they're just hot, 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 hot. Again, going back to number one, they're just going and going and going and going along with the guy. And then the guy realizes, okay, well, is, is, is this is moving a lot faster than I thought. And two, I got her hooked. So throw a little bit of cold in there, right? Create that desire, make him think he has you, and then throw him for a loop. Which kind of leads to number five, which is create competition. Listen, you're going to have a guy chase you even if he doesn't like you if you create competition. Why? Because of what I said earlier, our self-worth is based on what you think of us. If I'm losing you to another guy, that's not good because I feel like there's something wrong with me. Why am I, you know, it, it, it's more of a pride and ego thing. If I'm losing you to another guy, I feel like there's something wrong with me and I feel that I need to know what it is or I need to fix it or this habit's going to or this problem's going to keep on happening with other girls. Okay. So, you know, I'm not saying rub it in his face. I'm not saying be a bitch about it, but if he brings it up, you can say, depending on how the guy, <laughs> disclaimer, depends on the guy and depends on that bullshit. A lot of guys don't like these games. A lot of guys don't. It's hard to explain it because I know a lot of guys who will be in the comments and who say, oh, no, once a girl starts doing that shit, I'm done. Well, that's what you say. But the guy says that, though, because he, you know, he wants to he wants to guarantee his security. You know, when you see a guy say that in the, below, or, does he actually mean it or is he saying that because he doesn't want any games being played on him and uh, he wants the security? Because I'm a guy, and I know a lot of guys who, when this kind of shit happens to them, they, 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 I'm telling you, they're fucking assholes that get tighter than a fucking ticks. And they start chasing a girl and they start wondering where they stand, especially if they really like the girl. Um and stuff like that. So create a little competition. Don't rub it in his face. Don't make him feel like he has no chance. Don't make this guy he's going against sound like an all-star because then he's just not going to chase. He's just going to drop it. But if you say something like, oh, I'm talking to one other guy, but it's not that serious, then that, you know, I mean, that plants the seed for future events, okay? So, ladies, with that being said, there's those five things. Now, again, I can... Is my finger crooked? Holy shit. Uh, there. But I can go into a lot more detail in this, but I'm not going to. This could be a two-hour video. Um, hopefully it helped you some, in some way there. I love you. Take care. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and peace.